Deploying a Node.js server on Lambda is really easy, if you know how to do it. Let's see how you can deploy your own Node.js server on Lambda in less than 60 seconds. Okay, we created a really simple Fastify server. We have two routes, a GET and a POST. And we can start it with npm run dev. We can see on Postman that it is actually working and also the GET is working. In order to run the test, we just need to run npm run test and we are ready to deploy in 60 seconds this Fastify server on Lambda. First of all, we will see a really simple version and then we will see a version with a CI CD pipeline. Now you may be asking, how is it possible that a really simple server like this can run more or less out of the box on AWS Lambda? Well, we are actually using a trick because we are exporting our init function from the server.js and we are using the init function to listen if we run npm run dev, but what we are also doing, we have this index.js file, which is using the Fastify AWS Lambda package. Through this package, we are actually creating the proxy and we are exporting the handler for our Lambda. So we will have two entry points for our application, app.js for local development and index.js for AWS Lambda. We can do more or less the same with uh, Express with a different package, but I strongly recommend you to use Fastify for your Node.js API servers. And please don't forget to add the tests as well. For the first version, we need to reveal in Finder everything, compress, and we have our zip file. We are on AWS, we search for Lambda, we select our region, create function. Function name can be Fastify2. Let's keep the runtime to node 18, architecture is okay, and we also want to have a function URL without authentication in this case, create function. Our function is ready, we just need to upload our source code from, upload from zip file, we select our file, we hit save, and we wait for a couple of seconds. Okay, it worked, now we have this function URL, we can just invoke the function URL, and we can see that the get is working. Let's try the post request as well. So I go here, post request, full bar three, send, and it worked. If you're enjoying this content, please consider hitting like and subscribe to stay updated with the new contents that will come next. Of course, in a real world scenario, we don't want to repeat this process over and over again every time we make a change to the main branch. For this reason, we can use this really simple GitHub action. You will find the source code of this GitHub action and of the repository itself in the description below. You can copy this action inside your project and then you just need to find uh, an AWS access key ID and a secret access key. In order to create them, we go back on AWS, we search for I am. We are under users, we create a new user, let's call it Fastify Lambda. In this case, uh, I will just give uh, a Lambda full access, yeah, like that. Of course, uh, you shouldn't give a Lambda full access, you should create a policy for your own use case. But we create a user. Now we can click on our Fastify Lambda. We scroll down on access keys, we can create a new access key. In this case, it is a third party service. I click understand, I click on next create access key, and here we go. So here we have our access key, here we have our secret, we can just copy by clicking here. Now we are on GitHub, on our repository, we click on settings, we search for secrets and variables, actions, and we hit new repository secret, we create the two secrets, and we should have something like that. Thanks a lot for watching, and if you want to know how to deploy your React application on AWS in less than 60 seconds, this one is the perfect video for you.